Inside the MBA, your bi-weekly window into what's happening at the MBA. Hi, I'm Rob Van Rapports. Welcome to MBA Now. We are at CREF 18 in San Diego, California, and uh, with me today is Steve Case. Steve, thanks so much for being here. Great to be with you. So we just heard a little bit about your book, The Third Way. Uh, can you explain a little bit about what that is? It's really the, the next big wave of the internet. The first wave was getting everybody connected. Yeah. Companies like AOL 30 plus years ago were trying to educate people about why they should get connected, build the on-ramps to connect them. That was sort of the first wave, you know, 85 to 2000 roughly. The last, you know, 15, 20 years has been the second wave of the internet. It's really building apps and services on top of the internet, Facebook and Twitter, right. things like that. The third wave is really integrating the internet throughout our lives and changing healthcare and education, energy, transportation, food, agriculture, really big sectors of the economy that haven't changed all that much in the first and second wave, but will change a lot in the, in the third wave. Yeah, we see technology just booming right now. It's, it's bursting at the seams. You know, in the next decade, what do you see as the top sort of technological developments that will really impact everything? Well, there's a lot of great technologies that are under work. Artificial intelligence, robotics, driverless trucks, a lot of things get attention. But I'm actually not as focused on the specific technologies as well as, well, as opposed to where that where the technology is actually being birthed. But for the second wave, it was really mostly about Silicon Valley. And the third wave, it's going to be more regionally distributed. That creates great opportunities on the real estate side because the, a lot of the successful startups will not be in San Francisco, New York, and Boston. They might be in Pittsburgh or Detroit or Des Moines or Madison or Atlanta or other kinds of, of cities. So I think it's a huge kind of game-changing uh, you know, wave in terms of innovation, how, how it impacts our lives, some of the technologies that will be used to do that, but also how it might change some sectors that are, that are like, like real estate. So from an entrepreneur's point of view, I mean, suddenly, certainly you know a lot about it. What, what are key characteristics that you need to look for when you're looking for a technological partner? Well, I think the third wave of partnerships is going to be critical. And the, the second wave was really about the software, about the app. If you were successful in creating Facebook and got a lot of people to use it or successful in getting people to use your Instagram photo app or what have you, that's how you were successful in the second wave. In the third wave, when it really is about changing how we think about healthcare or education, right. partnerships are going to be important. You have to partner with the doctors and the hospitals and the health plans right. and even the, right. you know, the, the, the government. So you've got to figure out ways to have a unified vision of what's going to happen right. 10 years from now and how right. collectively can you do things that you couldn't do separately. Uh, and it's always hard to do. Partnerships are challenging and it's hard to align everybody's interests, but the companies that, that really get partnerships in the third wave are going to be the winners in the third wave. Fascinating insight. Uh, we really appreciate you stopping by talking a little bit about the third wave and what you see for the future. Thank you. Great. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at MBA Mortgage and like Mortgage Bankers Association on Facebook and Instagram. This is Mortgage News Network.